In the previous video, I was comparing performance of Godot and Unity. And today I did some comparisons with a Godot 3D scene and Unity. And before I share the results with you guys, I'm going to quickly explain how my test is set up because I did get a lot of questions about the setup in the previous video. The original test that I was doing was in Unity and it was comparing between ECS, C Sharp and Visual Scripting. And the idea was to see how much game objects with a script attached to it can I add to a game before I see the frame rate drop down. So that is how the B is set up. The B is a game object and inside I had a sprite renderer and a script that controlled the flight. Now the ECS B is exactly the same except I have a B authoring script attached to it and the job is the one that is moving those Bs. In Godot I have this similar setup. A B is a sprite 2D which is also a node and to this node, I have the B script attached to it. So every single B is a game object or a node and has the logic. Now, for those of you that were interested in the code that I was running, here it is. All the script is doing, it's randomly getting a point within a unit circle that the B should fly towards and it flies towards that point. When it reaches that point, it generates the next one. So that is for a mono behavior. And for ECS, I have this job that runs on all of the bees, which is doing the same thing as the mono behavior. In Goto, I have an equivalent script that does exactly the same thing. This is a quick run through the setup. Now, the renderer that I'm using for Goto is Forward Plus. I tested all of them, and for mobile, I have the same performance. The compatibility one has slightly lower performance. And for Unity, I'm using a URP. Before we launch the test for 3D version, here I have created a graph that shows the 2D sprites comparison that I did in the previous video. So at the top, Unity ECS is the fastest. And then we have Godot C Sharp following it. And then GD Script. Then the very last one is Unity C Sharp. So that's the results that I got on my machine for the 2D sprites. Now right here, I also have a graph that shows how much faster it is compared to the slowest performance. So the slowest performance was with Unity C Sharp. So GD Script was running 20% faster than C Sharp. And if we take the lowest point for Godot C Sharp, it was running over 50% faster than Unity C Sharp. And Unity ECS was running about 70% faster than Mono Behavior. So those were the results that I got for 2D. Now let's go and test out the performance for 3D. So I'm going to start with Unity. And for 3D, I have two types of tests. I have a low poly fish here. And then I also have a quad that I use the B as the texture to draw the B that way. So I'm going to start with the quad and let's do C sharp test first. And I'm going to go straight to 7000. And I will also overlay this run with Intel present mon so that you can see what is going on here. So my PC has a 1080 Ti, um, but looking at this, my processor is the bottleneck. And in the resource monitor right here, you can see that I was maxing out the CPU. I also have OBS running, so it's using some of that processing. The drop that you can see in the processing is because the Unity is not running in the background. Uh, so looking at this, we're getting around 40 FPS for 7000. So let's try the same thing, but now let's use ECS. So let's go to 7000. At 7000, we're still not crossing the 60 frames a second threshold. So I'm going to turn off VSync. And now we can see that at 7000, I'm running around 130 frames a second. And also, if we look at the resource monitor, I was maxing out on the CPU as well. If I had OBS turned off, I would have got a faster results, but I have OBS running for all of them. So it's a fair comparison. Now, let me turn this off. Let me run the same test with Godot and we can compare the results. For Godot, I'm going to run quads as well. So let's go to 7000. 
So at 7000, we are running at 23 frames per second. And if we take a look at the resource monitor, it's not using my full CPU. Mostly it's using CPU 2. And in fact, if I turn off OBS, it's more noticeable that Godot is running on my CPU 2 and CPU 4. The other ones are not being utilized. So that was something interesting that I've noticed with Godot. I did expect it to be a bit more balanced out, but I guess you have to utilize the threads yourself so running at 20, but then we get that mono behavior in Unity is running almost twice faster than Godot and ECS runs almost six times faster. So those are the numbers for the 3D using a quad and a texture. And if I pull up the graphs of the tests that I did, ECS is significantly faster than both Unity with mono behavior and Godot C Sharp. So if you take a look at how much time faster, so right here we have experienced that, that Unity mono behavior is 1.7 times faster than Godot and ECS is almost six times faster. And the more units you start adding after 7,000, the bigger the differences. But at that point, Godot was running already 10 frames a second. And now let's take a look at running FBX files. So here I'm gonna run 7,000 as well. So we are getting actually a little bit higher performance. So it looks like it's 25. It seems like Godot has a harder time drawing the textures than rendering a 3D object with materials, but it's not that big of a difference. Before I run the fish test, a lot of you were asking for the source code and the projects. So I'm going to make that available. Also, I'll make the executables uh, available as well. And you can look in the description for more details of where you can uh, get them. If you download them and you want to run them to see the tests that you can run, you can click I for information. And right here I have the different scenes that you can switch between for in different uh, setups and then also the different tests that you can run to see the performance of uh, the engines on your machine. Also, one of the things that I didn't mention is you can toggle VSync by clicking a V on the keyboard. Right now, I'm gonna run the fishes C sharp first. So I'm gonna hit C and it's gonna add thousand fishes for me. Let's go to 7,000. And for 7,000 fishes, we're running at 20 frames a second, which is slower than Godot. And also here we can see that the CPU is the bottleneck and I'm using 100% of my CPU to run this. Now, I didn't make any changes with the materials. So how the materials were set up when I imported the FBX files, that's how I ran them. And I used the same FBX file for Unity and for Godot. So now let's uh, run it with ECS. So let's go to 7000. And for ECS, again, we're not going below 60 frames at 7000. So I'm going to turn off VSync. And we can see that we're running at 140, which is a little bit faster than what we were getting for using quads with a texture. So for the fish comparison, if we go to the values that I've uh, collected, you can see that the performance of Unity ECS is still much faster, but Unity with mono behavior is a little bit slower than Godot C Sharp for the fish object that I was using, which was pretty interesting. I didn't dig deeper in to see if there's a specific setting that is causing this, but just by using the default settings after importing, uh, these are the results that I got for the fish. And number ways comparison, we can see that Godot C Sharp was running 20% faster than Unity Mono Behavior, but ECS is still running at six times faster than Unity Mono Behavior. So those are the results that I got. It seems like Unity does have a better performance in terms of 3D, but for 2D, Godot was performing a little bit better. Now that's performance, but if I compare the images of both of them, I don't know if that's some configurations that I have to change to make it sharper, but by default, Unity does look sharper. I did have some requests to create a comparison with physics engine. So I'm thinking of doing that as well. And if you would like to see that, be sure to subscribe.